Hello everyone and welcome to this Ultra Fiesta Special. I'm Mikey Delisa and for the next hour you're going to be able to watch live chats with my fans, exclusive videos of me in the studio, and on tour. Also you're going to have a chance to listen and see me perform. Let's get this party started. Woo! If you don't like me, then why don't you invite me? Saludos Latinoamérica, Estados Unidos y el mundo entero. Bienvenidos al live chat de Mike Delisa aquí en los estudios de Ultra Fiesta, presentado por Olympusat Telecom. Yo soy Luis Ayala. And I'm Lana Mundy. Thank you so very much for joining us tonight for Ultra Fiesta's live chat with Mikey Delisa, powered by Olympusat Telecom. Tonight we're getting up close and personal with Mikey, asking him the questions that you guys have sent us via Facebook, via Twitter, and our website. Make sure to keep those questions coming at Ultra Fiesta, hashtag Delisa Ultra Fiesta. I say we get started, boys. Let's get started. Mikey Delisa, un aplauso. Oh. Un aplauso. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Delisa. How are you? I'm doing great. This is the most intricate live chat I have ever been a part of. This is awesome. That's awesome. We're so happy to have you. Well, thank you for having me. Vamos a pasarle espectacular, señoras y señores. Y no se olviden a toda mi gente de Latinoamérica, envíenos sus preguntas en español. Yo haré la traducción y se las preguntamos aquí a Delisa, arroba Ultra Fiesta, hashtag Delisa Ultra Fiesta. You guys ready to get this started? Let's do it. Vamos Let's... a hacerlo. La primera pregunta, first question. At Karen Mitates wants to know, how do you see yourself in five years? How do I see myself in five years? Um, I, I want a beard, like a really big beard. So I definitely see myself having one of those. Um, no, I, I hope to see myself, uh, I see myself still doing music. Yeah? Yeah. And on one, your like 10th album? Another. Yeah, hopefully like on like my 10th <laughs> album. Um, yeah, I would like to have like some robot arms. Maybe oh, too. Nice. I like That'd that. be pretty cool. Building guitars, fun. maybe on each Yeah, show. exactly. Why In, not, right? Yeah, Interesting. I can be like a traveling one man band like at it. all times. There you go. Yeah. All right, next question. All right, Brianna wants to know. She has a two part question, so let's okay. start with Who are your musical inspirations? My musical inspirations? Mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely there's quite a few. Where do I begin? Hmm. I feel I'm like. I'm staring at her right now. I can see that she's looking at me. I can feel it. I like what you do with your hair, by the way. It looks lovely. <laughs> um, some of my musical inspirations. Um, like I've said many times, I'm a huge fan of uh, Jamiroquai. Um, you can't go wrong with that, right? What am I oh, and as we were just singing before, some Bobby Caldwell. Mm -hmm. Can't mm -hmm. go wrong with that. Uh, big fan of a tribe called Quest. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Alan Stone, Mayor Hawthorne, Bruno Mars, great mm -hmm. artist. The list kind of goes on and on, but those are definitely some big uh, influences right there. And her second, the second part to her question is, if you could have dinner with anyone, who would it be and why? Mm. Well, what is she doing Friday night? <laughs> there you go. Ooh, Brianna. Oh. There you go. <laughs> uh, see, if I could have dinner, I guess I'll, aside from you, I'm going to, I'll try to pick someone um, maybe that like, I've looked up to for a while. Um, what, can we do Alive or Dead? I'm gonna gonna make an execu executive decision and say anyone you want. Anyone I want. That's right. It's my live chat. I can do whatever I want. Exactly. Uh, señoras y señores, el Twitter está explotando. I'm gonna pick. Uh, wait, I gotta pick who I would go to dinner with. Hmm. Oh, that's right. You yeah. forgot already. <laughs> no, it's like I'm impressed. The Twitter is blowing up. It's you know crazy. what it is? It's it's Luis's abuela's uh, birthday. Abuela, so, feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday. El cumpleaños. Oh, yeah, uh, you know what? I pick Luis's abuela. There you go. Abuela, yes. feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> Arroba Lali Gómez Lobato. Esta nos llega en español. ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta de Latinoamérica y cuál es tu país favorito? What, what's the you like the most about Latin America and what's your favorite country? Um, let's see. What did I like the most about Latin America? Uh, I would say the, the people there. They really made the whole trip um, amazing. You know, being like an outsider, not really speaking the language really at all. Um, they definitely uh, made me feel at home. And the fact that they were very responsive to my music and were singing along, um, yeah, they, they made the trip great. So I would, I would sum it up with uh, the people there. Awesome. We just got a, t a tweet from Iconic Lily. She wants to know how much you work out. How much I work out? <laughs> um, well, generally, uh, Sean and I, um, we have a, a workout. Actually, Sean, why don't you come in real quick? This is Sean. this is Sean. Come on, Sean. Sean, 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 Sean. So generally, 
Sean and I, we work out about um, once a week, and what we do, so you gotta, you gotta get Sean. the camera right you there. Look at the camera. Come on down, come on down. Bring. So Sean and I, generally, we bare knuckle box once a week in alleyways, and then we, ro we yeah. rotate it with letting dogs loose to like chase us through the woods and that's pretty crocodiles much. yeah we, yeah, yeah we, we have very um core training i like it yeah we, we like to change up our training methods bears um, every now and then yeah we come sean up likes to wake me up with throwing like cinder blocks at me and i have to like <laughs> catch them and all that so it's uh it's good yeah. but uh yeah lily say hi to sean uh, hey and lily. that's for you lily <laughs> how you doing there yeah. you go he made an oh, appearance okay. she requested an appearance so yeah. good oh great very nice to meet you lily Sean's Insta Famous. There you go. Un aplauso para Sean, señoras y señores, que estuvo aquí saludando. There you go, there you go. Continuamos con más preguntas. No se olvide, arroba Ultra Fiesta, hashtag Delisa Ultra Fiesta. This one's from Stephen Wood. What will be the highlight of this year for you? Um, highlight of this year, I guess, really the fact that I'm getting to, to work on more music now that I'm here in uh, Miami. It's, uh, yeah, I guess just kind of like looking back and just realizing that I'm still getting to, uh, to do it. So just being in the studio every day um, since I've been down here, that's definitely been a, a highlight because I'm not delivering pizza like I once was or working construction and all that. So it's, uh, it's a good feeling. Good question, Steve. By the way, I also sent your poster out. There you go. I handle all the shipping. Oh, well. wow. Yeah, there so you go. That. Perfect. What do you have over there, Lynette? All right. Bridget says, I know you love fans. I know you love us fans, she says, but when you're out in public, what are your feelings on us approaching you and your family and friends? I would never want to overstep boundaries. Thanks. Um, I would say, Bridget, if you don't kick down the bathroom stall while I'm in there, <laughs> you're, you're pretty much fair game for the most part. Um, yeah, it's always very flattering when fans come up and ask for a photo and all that. And uh, I guess so far, I feel like I've been very lucky where um, no one's necessarily interrupted me at like a bad time. Like, I've had people even like wait till I'm like done eating to come over and take a photo. Or I've even gotten like via Twitter of like, hey, I just saw you at the restaurant, but I didn't want to bother you. But those always upset me because I'm like, you could have made me look really cool <laughs> at that dinner and like come up and be like, oh, I want your photo. So <laughs> overstep your boundaries, please. <laughs> well, your sister, Dina, just tweeted and said, he works out by playing WWF wrestling. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Is this true? Michael, because- Dina, <laughs> what's up? How's it going? How was apple picking? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see more questions. El Twitter está como loco, no se olvide. Arroba Ultra Fiesta. Vamos por acá. Ara Delisa, your album will be released in stores in Latin America? Question mark. Ah, uh, yes. It definitely will be uh, down in uh, Latin America for sure. I mean, even now, all the... Oh, no, this way. The album right here is available worldwide. You can get it on your nearest digital distribution outlet. <laughs> there you go. ¿Cuál de tus canciones es la más importante para ti y por qué? Which of your songs is the most important for you and why? Maybe from this album, anything that you've been performing? Well, I would say off the, off the EP here, um, Time of the Day was definitely a very special song. Like I wrote that when I first was like moving out to LA and coming back home and um, it was kind of one of the first songs that was written for that album and we like we wrote like a music video for it and everything so it just kind of everything that followed with it just kind of brought like a whirlwind of stuff so it was definitely uh that, that one I, I definitely hold near and dear to me very, nice. very cool you got some more over there Lynette yeah um there's a lovely fan on Twitter who wants you to say I love you Bia she tweeted us like six times so please tell her you <laughs> love Bia, her I love you there and you your go. enthusiasm <laughs> <laughs> un aplauso un aplauso para Bia por favor Señoras y señores, Tia. <laughs> at Sorbicas, at Ultra Fiesta, something you will never write a song about. Mm. Something I'll never write a song about. Hmm. What wouldn't, I couldn't see writing a song about like extension cords. I don't think that'd be a very interesting <laughs> topic. So that might be one thing I wouldn't write a song ever about. Yeah. I wouldn't write a song about extension cords either. Yeah, there's just really <laughs> nothing. Boring. There's nothing too interesting about them. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so another questions. We want another, another question. Questions? Yeah, we got some more time for questions before we see. Um... Uh, uh, Delisa Ultra Fiesta. Ari wants to know what do you think about being an uncle? Oh, I am very very excited to be an uncle. Yeah, I'm 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 hoping that they will trust me with their with their child. 
Are you gonna babysit and, and all the fun stuff? Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a motorcycle just for that occasion to bring the kid out. You know, all that. It's fantastic. All that, all that good stuff. I love it. Yeah. Excelente, excelente. Pero bueno, antes de continuar con más preguntas, síganos la enviando arroba ultrafiesta, hashtag Delisa Ultrafiesta. Como lo mencionamos, obviamente Mikey estuvo por Latinoamérica visitándolo. Si tenemos un reportaje, vamos a verlo. For the Latin America tour, I really didn't know what to expect. You know, it's uh, a few countries I've really never been to before. Um, and, you know, starting the first night in Monterey, Mexico, and hearing people singing along to the, to the music and everything, and really seeing like a great fan response, and then seeing it carrying over, you know, to each place that we went, um, it definitely exceeded what my expectations were. The crowds, they're very, very passionate yeah. over there, for sure. They, they really do show a lot of love and appreciation. And, you know, especially being somewhere, um, playing for the first time, it, it puts you a little bit at ease, you know, when you feel like you're, you're welcome. Why did you invite me? You're trying to excite me with the possibilities. Meet and greets were my favorite part, I would say, or definitely one of the, the, top, the top highlights. Um, I didn't know what, again, I didn't know what to expect and you know all the meet and greets that I was doing were, were selling out and um, again to be able to meet fans you know in, in different countries that I wasn't really even fully aware of at the time and to be able to spend some time with them take photos with them and just even just be able to say thank you even though there's still you know a little bit of a language barrier um, it was uh, it was great one of the craziest things that happened with some fans was when um, leaving one of the airports uh, I was walking with my luggage cart and I had my boot on at the time because I, I fractured my foot and uh, I just got, I got mobbed and the whole luggage cart tipped over and I was like trapped. Uh, I, I felt like I was, you know, Paul McCartney. Uh, the cover of I See Chipego kind of came about um, when I was in Miami like a year and a half ago when you know that song was blowing up I heard it everywhere I was going so you know um, when I was going to Latin America uh, to me you know that song was definitely one that stuck out in my mind that everyone would know so I kind of wanted to attempt to uh, to do a cover you know to, to have a nice sing-along going in three words I would describe the trip as simply just amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> to all my Latin American fans that were down there supporting me, I hope you all had a blast. I know I certainly did, and I can't wait to come back down and play for you all. So stay tuned. As you can see, I had so much fun in Latin America. My fans are amazing. But don't forget to follow Ultra Fiesta on Twitter at Ultra Fiesta, and to relive my live chat, you can go on youtube.com slash Ultra Fiesta TV to check out some fun clips. It's time to take a short break, but we'll be right back. <laughs>